Okay, we're going to have a look at using some uh, keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to start off with how we can change between screens on an Apple Mac. Now, for general um, keyboard shortcuts, the Apple support website has a really good page which gives you comprehensive information about what all the keyboard shortcuts are and what they do. Not only navigating around the Finder, uh, creating new folders and windows, but also um, keyboard shortcuts within programs such as word processing. So pretty useful, um, it can speed up your workflow. Obviously sometimes it's difficult to you know, remember all these, but you can get PDFs that you can download and you know, memorize the best ones and then have maybe a sheet stuck up at the side of your desk um, um, to show you other ones. Okay, so we're gonna start off here. Now what we've got is just one um, screen, one desktop. Now, what you need to do is make sure um, you have in the preferences, so I'm gonna to go to the Apple menu, I'm gonna to go to system preferences, and once I'm in system preferences, I'm gonna go here for the keyboard preferences. Now within keyboard preferences, it has keyboard, text, and shortcuts, we'll go here. Now it has lots of um, keyboard shortcuts on here that you can switch on and off and customize and go all the way through so it's worth taking a look there quite a lot of them um, may be on by default but what you need to do is to make sure within the mission control is down at the bottom you have mission control um, selected and then all three um, below here to do with move left um, a space move right a space and switch desktop one they all need to be switched on and you'll notice he has what the keyboard shortcuts are and that means to control um, left arrow key, control right arrow key, and then down here, control uh, and number one on the keyboard. Okay, so with that set up, um, what we have is one screen here. Now, how you activate this is by pressing the mission control button, which is on your keyboard, um, on Apple Mac keyboard, and it's above the three. So I can toggle between that and switching it on and off, right? Now, what you'll see here up at the top, I've just got desktop, and that's the main desktop. So say, for example, I wanted to have another desktop. Um, this is really useful if you're doing some work and you, you don't want to have loads of windows and be going back and forward, or maybe you're... Um, maybe you know you're doing something on twitter and then you're going back and forward to your work you don't want to be having too many open windows so what we'll do here is we just got the desktop if i hover the mouse up at the top right you'll see a little box will pop out and it has a plus on it now if i click that plus it then gives me another desktop now if i click on that desktop it takes me to it now, if you've got a magic mouse that you can swipe on the top, you use three fingers and you can do that. It only works with three fingers. If you're doing it with one, it doesn't work. Three fingers will do it. Or if you've got a trackpad, the same thing will happen. You swipe it across. Or you can press control and use the arrow keys to go back and forward. Right arrow key um, and left arrow key. Okay, so that's how you would do that. Now, what I will do is I'll just go back to the second screen. Now, what I can do here is you'll notice that those two backgrounds are um, similar colors. So say, for example, I'm on here, the second uh, desktop. I go up to my Apple menu. I go to System Preferences. Once it's opened up, I will now go to the Desktop and Screen Saver. And this time, I'll change this color. I'll change this to something different. So it's got a bit of a, whoops, maybe a bit too much. I'll change it to this uh, dark color here, okay? Now I close that down. Now if I go back to my original desktop, you'll see I've moved that out of the way. It's sort of a bluey color here. And then I go back and it's changed its color. Now what I can do is I can go down here and say, for example, I'll, oh, you can open up another program. Say I want to do some word processing Okay, so here I've just got a word, some word processing and say for example, I can go back here to the page that's got the, the internet with Chrome on and I can go back here. Now what I can do again, I can go to, back to mission control and again, I can add another um, desktop, which is gonna be desktop three. Again, if I wanted to differentiate between them, I could go up here, I go to the 
preferences from the Apple menu. Then once I have the system preferences, then I could open it up and say, for example, I could change that around and have maybe um, a background picture on here. Okay, I've got that. And what I could do is say something like I could open up Photoshop. Now, sometimes bearing in mind the more screens you have um, going through desktop to desktop might have a bit of a lag on, on the overall performance of your computer if it's not very new, it doesn't have a lot of RAM. It might have an issue um, to do with that. But what you can do is go through all these different um, desktops and switch between them all and you know improve your workflow how you're doing that so so i'll just wait for this to open okay uh, i've opened up photoshop so on my screen three i've got photoshop if i go back here i can change and do some web processing i can go back here and do um you know surf the internet and i can go and through all these three screens now because i've changed the background here you know i can differentiate between which screen is which and it just keeps a bit more clarity of how you work and you don't have all these windows so you've got photoshop behind a word processor or you might be trying you know communicating on twitter or doing other stuff and multitasking and it just makes it a lot clearer again how you do that is three fingers um, across a trackpad or three fingers across um, your magic mouse um, that's how those things work and take you through you press the mission control key and also you could navigate between those and again mission control and go through those now if you wanted to get rid of a desktop say for example i wanted to get rid of this one i go mission control i would hover the mouse here and it has a little um, x to close it i close it and it gets rid of it and then if i go here you will now find it's placed my Photoshop on here because it, it hasn't got rid of it and deleted whatever I've been doing. It's now mashed up um, my Photoshop on desktop at one and put it here. Okay, so that's a, a simple way of doing that. And then if I go back here, I'll go to desktop two and that's that. So what I can do with mission control on, I can delete that. So now it's placed them all together here in a bit of a stack. Now, what I can do, um, if you are using programs and switching between them, say if you are in one desktop, what you can do is press uh, Command and um, Tab, and you can either, if you keep on pressing the tab, it'll keep on going through all the open programs that you have on. And then if you want to go to one of those, you can just switch between it again, Command, Tab. You can either use the arrow keys to go back and forward, you can also um, use the mouse uh, to go through. So whatever you feel uh, best to do. Um, so it's command tab, use the arrow keys, or you can just keep on pressing the tab key and toggle between those.